city life gets to us, right? We always think, oh my God, I'm just seeing buildings and cars and fumes. What better way to cleanse your mind, cleanse your soul by going to the forest? Being one with nature is like the best thing ever. And packing for that is actually not that tough. The colors of nature, like be inspired by the forest, beautiful greens, barky browns, khakis. It's also a time to like, you know, not be distracted by yourself, but to look out at the trees and let them give you life. So what we have here is one of my favorite trends. I and mean, you know the monotone, mixing colors of the same hue together. This is a no-brainer, right? I mean, you can never go wrong when you take two colors of the same hue. And this shirt, I mean, it, everything about this shirt is just perfect. It's got a, like, you know, a slight army influence with the epaulets. The fabric is soft and easy on the skin, so it can totally take you through a day walking effortlessly through the forest. So, you know, I think the one thing that's really important is like after you spent the day, you know, walking through the forest, enjoying the nature, you come back and you shower and now you need to feel really comfortable. So linen is something that I always go to for that. I mean, you know, this, this, this shirt, it's short sleeved yet the turnover, you know, gives you a bit of a fashion edge without losing that. Simple, you know, no fuss pants. Again, the subtle detail of the buttons. So you're still being very chic, but yet you're comfortable and very easy. It t tends to get a bit nippy in the mornings and evenings when you're, you know, in the forest. And for me, the most versatile piece of clothing as a cover up is a trench. Here what we have is a, it's, it's an inspired piece. It's not exactly a trench, it's more like a cover up. It's in a canvassy fabric so it could protect you from the rain a little bit if there was a light shower. Look at the drawstring at the back. You can keep this as tight or loose whether you want to create a waist for yourself or have it more amorphous and oversized. So I think this is a must carry. It just helps you feel a bit snug without feeling warm. So while we're talking about cover-ups, right? I mean, there are endless options to what you can pack. I mean, I love even like a little, a light layered sleeveless jacket, a little gilet, because it keeps you, you know, it keeps your arms free, you're still feeling easy, but yet it adds a little bit of a protection to your chest if needed. And also because this particular piece with the mesh detail is extremely stylish. So keep your style quotient high, yet it's functional. How can one go to the forest without a comfy, cozy plaid shirt? This is the classic shirt in a red and black check. Also a huge trend this season, not to be missed. And I think perfect for those evenings by the fireplace. Here it's okay to stand out a bit because there are no animals that are going to be offended by you sitting in front of a fire, enjoying a lovely warm drink. Again, talking of downtime, you know, uh, sometimes the weather is not so cold and you want to feel free yet comfy and yet blend in as we discussed. So here's an interesting way to layer, like, you know, an oversized striped shirt, a knotted top. I love the colors here. You know, more and more I feel uh, fashion is going towards off colors. Very rarely do we see strong, bright primary colors and that's something that I feel very close to. I feel it highlights our skin tone so much better and lets our personality shine rather than the clothes. So off colors, this beautiful muted apricot and shorts. You have to pack a pair of shorts. You never know when the weather's gonna be crisp and warm and you wanna get a little bit of sun going. Bags, I think um, one requires very little when one is in the forest, especially if one is on a walk. So I think a fanny pack is the best thing ever because not only can you wear it on your waist, you can even wear it like, you know, over the shoulder, cross body, or even at the back because in this case, you're not worried about anyone stealing anything from it. So it's totally fine to wear it at the back, even just that way. Look. I'll tell you another trick that I've always used. So when it's cold, I've always worn my thin running tights under a pair of ripped jeans. So I think the black showing through also adds a little bit of an edge. I think it's a fun way to uh, explore being fashionable yet extremely comfortable on your forest holiday. So have a good time and send me a postcard. Bye.